Good day and welcome to our first lesson in Applied Economics. I'm Sir Van and I'll be your teacher for this subject. For our first lesson, we will discuss the 17 Sustainable Development Goals of the United Nations. But first, what is sustainable development? Sustainable development is the idea that human societies must live and meet their needs without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. It means we can get our present needs without compromising the needs of the future. In this way, we can avoid causing big problems for future generations. The United Nations has 17 goals for all of its members. Today, we will try to discuss and refine what these goals are and why are they included in the visions of every country in the world by 2030. Let's start with number one, no poverty. According to the data, 10% of the world's population suffers from poverty. It is one of the biggest problems in the world and even in our country as well. Second is zero hunger. Based on the Global Hunger Index by 2020, the Philippines has recorded 19.0 results, which means we are at a moderate level of hunger. The United Nations target that by 2030, no individual in the world will experience hunger. Next is to have a good and healthy life for everyone, especially now that we are facing COVID-19 pandemic. It is undeniable that the said pandemic is a big blow to us, but later we can also overcome this problem. Fourth, to have an adequate and free education for all. In 2018, 260 million children were out of school. We all know that education is one of the keys to succeed in life. The United Nations targets that by the year 2030, no child will be deprived of free education from elementary to secondary. Equal rights and opportunities for all genders is the fifth goal of UN SDG. So far, we have been able to achieve this, but we can deny that there are still some instances where everyone doesn't look at each other equally. Clean water for all for the sixth goal, affordable and modern energy for the seventh, and orderly and decent work for everyone in the eighth. Build infrastructures that will speed up transportation, facilitate product flow, and improve the lives of everyone. Erase the gap between the poor and the rich. Give everyone adequate rights and opportunities, even those with disabilities, and let everyone have a voice regardless of age, sex, disability, race, ethnicity, origin, religion, or economic or another status. Eleventh, the cities will be well settled because in the future, a larger percentage of the population will live in them. Ensure sustainable consumption and production. It means the United Nations wants us to be responsible for the things we have today. Do not waste it, but use it properly. This reflects the main goal of sustainable development, which is not to compromise the needs of the future as we get what we need today. 13 to 15 covers our care for our environment. Let's fight climate change. Let's take actions so that it doesn't get worse. We also take care of our forests and oceans because this is where we get our food every day. The 16th goal of UN SDG is fair justice and peaceful society for all. And finally, the 17th goal of the United Nations states that sustainable development will only work if every country in the world will cooperate and coordinate with everyone. Let us now turn to our own version, Ambition Natin 2040. It represents the collective long-term vision and aspirations of Filipino people for themselves and the country in the next 25 years. By 2040, the Philippines is a prosperous, middle-class society where no one is poor. 
all sectors of society, whether public or private, should direct their efforts towards creating opportunities for Filipinos to enjoy a stable, comfortable, and secure life. Matatag na buhay means Filipino families live together. There is a work-life balance so that there is time to spend with family even for members who work. It is a high trust society with a strong sense of community. Maging hawang buhay means no one is poor. No one is ever hungry. Filipino families live in comfortable homes with the desired amenities and secure tenure. These and jobs that bring sustainable income are available, including opportunities for entrepreneurship. And lastly, panatag na buhay. Panatag na buhay means Filipino, Filipinos feel secure over their lifetime. They expect to live and enjoy a comfortable life upon retirement. Filipinos trust their government because it is free of corruption and provides service to all of its citizens. That's all for our lesson number one. See you again for our next discussion next week. Thank you so much.